Hi, this is Kevin Cook from Brain Cell Technologies with another quick lesson on creating web to lead forms. First of all, you have to be in your campaigns module. If you go up to the campaigns module tab, hover over it, you'll see some menu items. The bottom one will be create lead form. Click on it and it'll bring you to the first step in the lead form wizard. The first step is to click and drag the fields that you want to see on your form. I'm going to choose first name, last name, and email address. Notice I'm putting the email address in the second column. Oops, it reminded me that I had a required field missing, lead source. I'll add that as well. The next page lets me set some of the parameters of the form itself. When Sugar's done creating the lead form, you can either use it as is, or more commonly, you'll hand it off to your web developer, who will just work with the raw HTML. But I'm going to step through each one of these fields just to make sure that I get all the right information in it. You'll notice that I got a header and a description. I can change the label on the button. Most of these fields will make sense to you. The one thing that's not going to be filled out but's required is the campaign that this web form is going to be associated with. Usually, you'll create a web to lead form campaign and just use that for all of your web to lead forms. So, I'm just going to suggest one here. I can put in a form footer, but when I'm done, I tell it to generate the form. It brings up the form in Sugar's internal WYSIWYG editor, but like I said, most people don't use these forms. They are, they are after all, not really attractive. The best choice here is to click the HTML button, select everything and then copy it, and send this off to your web designer. You can also click this button up here which will let you download the web to lead form. So that's a quick explanation of how to create web to lead forms and use them to collect information from your website and have it put right into Sugar.